what's up guys welcome back to my channel i am ella here and i wanted to share the craziest craziest thing that recently happened to me it's not the typical video i usually make on this channel but you know if it's not your cup of tea just you know i have a lot of other videos but i wanted today to talk about it's kind of it came out as a beauty spell that i never intended to make but just listen to the story. So I was kind of like experimenting a lot with my look and just with my feminine energy doing different mini rituals in the past few weeks. Some people actually messaged me and they were asking me like, what did you do? What happened with you? You know, because like I haven't been to, I mean, a hairdresser or beautician or anybody since i don't know february maybe or like early march probably since february so you know like it's uh i kind of just look my natural self right now this is my natural hair color um like i haven't had it kind of was hard too because i really like usually to give myself beauty spa treatments but it was kind of hard so i was like you know what can i do with what i have i'm still like not feeling confident going to beauty salon and most of it in Los Angeles where I live is closed. So I started just playing around with just different things around me to boost myself up in terms of my feminine energy. And this is what happened. So I painted my nails black, I think it was about, I don't know, maybe last week, last weekend and something. And something has really shifted in me ever since then. I know this is like the craziest, also funniest maybe serious story and I just noticed that because I painted my nails black suddenly I had a desire to also dress differently I started feeling also kind of different inside as well and before you are like oh my god this is so stupid just listen to, to until the end because I actually made sense of what happened it was so unbelievable because there was something about me painting my nails black is as trivial and as minimal as it sounds and made me feel extremely confident in my elements and in myself and I had other nail polish before which I, I always like my nails done but you know it's like there was something specifically about the black color which just made me feel like I don't want to say whole but made me feel very connected to my feminine energy which is Venus energy if you guys know astrology venus represents our femininity and how we express that so my next point here is that i started thinking like can it be because of just black nail polish that suddenly i started feeling myself really sexy really feminine really like it's not even about confidence but it's about i just felt like i am me like i like how i look and it's very important i think when you like how you look um it's amazing like other people start noticing that too and it was so crazy because literally my experience with my surroundings has also changed so much since then it's literally like in the past weeks i've noticed whenever whatever i would go both online and also like even you know whenever i would go outside there would be like every single man would be looking at me like even it was kind of bad like another day i was just wearing simple white shirt i wasn't even wearing makeup i was just in my white shirt with my you know like with, with, with i had a few rings on my on my hands and um there was the guys who had girlfriends and like i felt so bad because they were with their girlfriends and they were like staring at me and i was like oh my god i don't know i, fe I feel so bad and like why do men do that and basically wherever i would go like men started really noticing me so much more and it's not about men necessarily but you know like when people notice you it is a very pleasant feeling like let's all face it even though some people i think maybe don't like it but i i feel it's very nice when 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 people notice you when people acknowledge you tell you that you're beautiful at least for me and I just noticed wherever I would go, I wasn't dressed in any way. I would just dress very simple. I mean, I live by the beach, so I usually just kind of, you know, like I'm wearing jeans and like some shirt or like just jean shorts and some t-shirt. I wear, I dress very simple because my neighborhood, it would be weird if I would like dress over the top. And anyway, like everywhere I would go, people would just notice me. Uh, like even if I go to coffee shops suddenly like all the baristas were talking to me in a different way like people just like randomly on the street online even as well where I wouldn't even post necessarily like a new picture but it's like something changed that 
I started to really kind of like attracting with my Venus feminine energy a lot of attention and just I started attention is whatever right like some of us like it some of us don't but what I noticed is I started feeling myself a lot more like confident and it's not even confident but more comfortable I guess that's the right word and I was thinking like this is so stupid it couldn't be right that just simple black nail polish suddenly made me feel like you know I'm the like hottest or the prettiest girl in the world like it, it cannot it, you cannot make sense of it right so of course as an astrologer I was like you know let me try to make sense of this with astrology and uh, I looked at my current transits, I didn't really necessarily saw something that was, you know, uh, making sense to me. But then I was like, let me look at the natal position of Venus in my chart, because something as for all ladies, I would recommend to do if you want to increase your feminine energy and also learn how can you express your feminine energy in the best possible way you need to see what venus is doing in your chart and if you want to study astrology with me if you need to astrology check out my astrology course for beginners where i teach you everything about astrology from the very scratch the links are going to be down below i will also in the comments down below link to you a calculator how you can find venus position in your chart so so make sure to check it out as well and basically what i arrived at is that i finally have found something about my truest expression of Venus according to the position of Venus in my chart. So I will explain how I arrived at this, you know, black polish, uh, black polish beauty spell, I guess, according to my Venus position. And you can do the same thing when looking at your Venus position in your chart. For example, let me explain how this beauty, whatever spell with a black nail polish has worked for me with my Venus position. My natal Venus is in the sign of Gemini, which first of all represent hands. It also represents like a trendy, youthful kind of energy. If you have Venus and Gemini, you're in a way lucky because as long as you will always be connected to this youthful side of yourself, this girly side of yourself, no matter what age you are, you will first of all find that you are not aging as much as other people of your age. Uh, and you also attract love very easily. You can find love pretty much anywhere. like online you can find love on a stroll to a coffee shop you can you know you you can be someone who attracts love very easily and you can also express yourself through words with this placement so first of all we've learned right that venus is here connected to hands so this is number one then i also have venus in my eighth house which represents this very femme fatale type of beauty it's this dark beauty it's color black black nail polish it is that just um, sometimes not necessarily kind of like wearing the brightest and shiniest colors but wearing something maybe a bit more seductive a bit more mysterious i will also link some of the pictures that immediately as i painted my my nails black i had that inspiration to just at my home get dressed and just make a little bit of this iphone photo shoot and i know you guys most of you are still like in lockdown i think for women especially it's been very hard i can speak for myself and some of the girlfriends of mine had same experience where they were like you know i haven't been at a hair salon for so long like some people have issues with their roots thanks god i don't have anything happening to my roots i have ends issues but like a lot of women just because you know like you can shop so much anymore and like it, it's hard to connect to your feminine energy these days and actually there was this one girl i followed on instagram who is like a sex witch she works a lot with like sexuality and just women also like learning to be more connected to their sexuality and she posted a picture saying something like girls take a photo for yourself right like either naked or in like your bikini or in your lingerie it will immediately make you start feeling better um, if you because I have personally in quarantine I gained weight in the beginning uh, because I mean it's quarantine right you kind of stay home and just cook or order in um, and I felt so bad I was like oh my god I gained so much weight and I look like I, I didn't look my past in the beginning of quarantine let's just put it this way and I felt very heavy as well lack of confidence and so anyway the moment I painted my nails black I suddenly felt like, you know what, let me take some pictures, you know, let me do like an impromptu photo shoot. I just felt so inspired to express myself in different ways, like not for anyone necessarily, not for any guy, but for myself. Like I felt very inspired to connect to my truest Venus self-expression. I started wearing a lot of black or like doing the black and white type of shots and I felt like amazing. I felt so 
Like if before I was kind of drained by some of my love experiences and confusing messages from men, I suddenly just forgot about everyone and I was like, oh my God, I'm truly a goddess, you know, type of thing. Which I think for many women, especially if you guys are like, if you girls, girls probably going through a tougher time, like with love and heartbreak, it's so important instead of chasing that person, thinking about the person to redirect this energy into loving yourself, whatever this is, your body, your, your entire, you know, package and anyway going back to your astrology chart look for where venus is placed in your chart which house it's placed which sign it's placed because if you truly step into your venus energy and you can even create a small ritual for yourself like i think i will be using this black nail polish ritual for myself for a little while because i really felt like it shifted something in me it made me want to do some black and white photo shoots and made me wear it made me want to even dress differently because i would look at my hands all the time and i would be like oh my god this looks so sexy you know i want to do something complementary to that this also this kind of ritual or something similar would work for you if you're venus and scorpio as well uh if you're venus and scorpio in third house especially venus in, in gemini in the eighth house if you have venus in gemini or in third house try to do some ritual for your hands try to do something you know, like wear beautiful rings or bracelet, try to really work with that energy. If you're Venus in the eighth house of Venus on Scorpio, try to do something connected to your, um, well, it's, it's your birthright to be more sexual and to be more sexy. And I personally, even online, receive so much bullying for like not really on my personal channels but here sometimes like there's women who are like uh, like why you are so you know not modest or whatever because for some people have this misconception if you're spiritual you're supposed to be a nun but witchy energy i think astrology energy and nun energy is not the same from what i've heard so like especially if you are someone who has venus and scorpio in the eighth house it's so important for you to let your sexual side be like you can do for yourself like sex rituals or just somehow allow yourself to for yourself you don't have to post it on social media or anything i personally like to post sometimes sexy pictures but it's just it's not because i look for attention or anything I like to express myself that way and it's like my desire so if you feel like you want to show to the world yourself in a more sexual way great but if you want to just do something maybe for yourself like take pictures for yourself not for your partner not for anyone like for yourself um to like really get into that energy of you know being in touch with your body like you know experiment with yourself even if you know what i mean with different things and color black and just anything that's more like scorpio energy it doesn't have to be something like over the top even where you show a lot of skin even though you surely can it could be just something like you know it could be like some very um tight like bodysuit or something it will make you feel amazing right away also highlighting like your eyes maybe even with eyeliner um something of that nature but of course there could be so many more things i'm just throwing some examples out there because i just want to tell you ladies it works and when you also improve your like it's not necessarily physical even experience it's how you feel it's it's part of it is yes physical experience but also like sometimes you wear a beautiful dress which is gorgeous and other people also think it's beautiful but you don't feel yourself confident in it you know what i mean i think the most important goal here is to find something that you also feel like you're fully yourself in it and something i do want to say is that it's so important to respect the energy of venus in your chart because like for some women it's true modesty or being more conservative suits them so much and they should absolutely pursue that and shouldn't you know tell people like if they feel uncomfortable doing something it is their right to express themselves in a more modest way they shouldn't be bullied into like being um certain way or that way and in my opinion and in my experience as well what i've seen is that when you express yourself according to the energy of venus in your chart it doesn't matter like you could be the most modest girls and everyone around you is is like naked but if it is supportive of the energy of your chart men or women if you're into women will always notice you it is not about who should be dressed this way or who should express themselves this way or that way it has more to do that you are in your strongest venus energy for some people this is about also being over the top quirky or different i had a friend who was a fashion designer and she was like this burning man fashion designer 
and she always dressed like oh my god you know it's like i couldn't even explain where she got her ideas for her outfits and everybody noticed her even like people who were more conservative or different just because she was so strong in her venus energy and she expressed herself through this venus energy and she was also actually making very good money as well because she was so connected to venus energy and venus rules money too in our chart for some even women and feminine energies it could be about being more simple maybe be more tomboyish we all know, like, right, if you think about, like, Spice Girls, right, they had these very different archetypes. There was Sporty Spice, there was Posh Spice, there was, I forgot all of their, uh, like, how, but, like, I forgot all of the names that they had, but there was something about how they also, like, they were dressed differently, also according to that archetype, I guess, producers were trying to, you know, kind of, like, market them as. But, of course, like, here it's not about marketing, it's about you finding your happiness, you finding your confidence as a woman, and if you want that, as a result, you attract so much attraction, so much attention, and so many people who are like, wow, they're just, like, mind-blown by you. If you have more of a Venus and Taurus, or Taurus energy as well, it could be more about this very earthy goddess energy, where you wear this long flowing skirts, or long, like, kimonos, I'm not Venus and Taurus, but I'm a Taurus. I notice that when I do that, that very often, it just suits me so much. It just also feels so natural. It could be also about you maybe being like really bright, making this very big fashion state, like fashion choices. Uh, if you have like Venus and Leo or even Venus and Aries, there could be something very fiery about your self-expression and how you express yourself as a, as a woman. Uh, it could be also something where, you know, like... I guess like it would really depend once again find this venus in your chart if you have venus in capricorn for example maybe even wearing suits or if not suits but wearing something very um something that says to people that you have certain status and you have certain quality to you like it could be simple clothing but it could be like really nice brand like you see you, you we all know right there is certain certain clothes they look simple but you just know that this is like high quality expensive brand um this person definitely like or maybe someone who dresses i actually have a friend i have a friend who lives in dubai and she's a venus and capricorn woman me and her had that conversation because i personally don't care about brands like at all I like to dress uh, like it's weird. I have I have some clothes that I would buy like in some even H and M or somewhere. I have clothes that I would buy from local designer. It's just very strange. My, my with my Venus in Gemini, my clothes like some clothes I make myself. Even you know it's like uh, like it's it's really eclectic what I have. But she has Venus in Capricorn, and she's very much into like she has all of this um, like she 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 has this very high quality brands clothing and she actually was telling me something how she wants to have more of that because she actually is, even sees them as an investment because like if let's say it's a dolce and gabbana or whatever louis vuitton bag you can always sell it and i never even thought about that that way and she has venus and capricorn she was like you know i like to dress simple and she dresses very simple like just a simple jeans and shirt but that she will have like some very high quality brand bag or a watch or something like that that is more like a venus and capricorn and she does also like men who are more rich so it's kind of like for her she sort of like always shows where she stands you know in terms of you know how how she wants to be treated i think i mentioned right aries taurus gemini Venus and Cancer can also just be like very feminine and actually like let's make an experiment here like I'm trying different things here I think one of the most like feminine people from more famous people that I can think of I think Lana Del Rey is incredibly incredibly feminine she was born June 21 85 according to public data I don't know I don't know to be honest if it's her real information or not because sometimes celebrities don't give like their real information. I actually studied at the same university where Lana Del Rey studied. She has a, she was there like a few years before me. She has even like I think a song about our school or like connected to where our school located. And let's let's just look at her chart. So Lana Del Rey is a Cancer with Moon and Leo, Venus in Taurus. And if you can see like she often with the Taurus energy as well, she, there's often this element about her where she's dressed kind of like she's from a bit of a different time there is that like girly skirts that she wears which i think comes both from her taurus and from her cancer uh placement because she, she's like a 
she's like the very latest i believe degree of of gemini the very earliest degree of cancer she's like right on the cusp i'm not sure if it was cancer or gemini when she was born but her venus is in taurus um, and she has a lot of also ca- cancer energy in her chart too um you can feel how there's always this very girly element about her. She's always wearing this very nice skirt. I've never met her personally, but I've been at her concert. And I remember at the concert, it was like a very small concert, not the stadium one, but more like just pier. Uh, I believe it was pier 57 or something in New York. And she was like wearing very simple, just black t-shirt, black, uh, black like not leggings, but like black jeans. But she was wearing very nice piece of jewelry which was like, it was something about that was very feminine and how her hair was. She has this very like girly slash feminine slash also a little bit retro energy. If you watch her like music videos, you will see a lot of it has to do almost like, it feels like it's not from this time. It feels like it's from this um, like different era, like 60s, maybe 70s. I'm not sure exactly, but when a woman basically expresses herself, whether in her art or just in your like, regular life according to the energies of venus and even also check, do check your sun and moon sign too moon sign especially this is when we look at this woman and no matter how she is dressed whether she's once again conservative or very sexual or very um or very like maybe even risky like you know with her fashion choices or even very just dressed like in a more masculine way like women who are in professions where they like also to dress you know like like more conservative basically if it's in accordance with this woman's venus energy we will always no matter how this woman is dressed we will always think of her wow she's so beautiful because there are some women who, who will like i would look amazing let's say um in like really flowing clothes but there might be some things that just no matter what fashion trend it is it just will never work for me because it's in clash with my venus energy so as you learn where your venus is placed and how this energy is, is expressed you will see very big shifts in your life in your in, in all the things venus related we also mentioned venus and leo would be yeah like the kind of they want to be that star you know um in whatever in whatever this is they do venus and virgo i would say would be more conservative venus and libra would be someone who really i would say likes to dress in this very elegant way in this very sophisticated way venus in the sign of scorpio that i've seen also could be especially if like moon is also like in aquarius also in scorpio they could be someone who has a bit of a gothic beauty even to them they could like to dress in a little bit of like darker like if you think of what was it the the dracula movie <laughs> like that kind of vibe that it gives me like vampire maybe even vibe um i would say sagittarius could be somebody very expressive but they also like to be very sporty very casual sometimes too they could be like a sporty spice even archetype if you want to ask my opinion and then of course capricorn more conservative but it's like it's not necessarily conservative in a way like you have to wear a suit or cover up it could be just you you dress like very simple simple like black um you know little black dress or white shirt you know jeans but you add some accessories or some really important statement pieces and really supports you know your look and then you know with aquarius and pisces it could be very dreamy vibes aquarius will be someone i always think of it like as a burner burning man chick in terms of fashion they will express themselves in a very unique way uh, and Pisces could also be this very dreamy, very romantic, maybe even a little bit glamour, uh, because Pisces could be connected to glamour as well vibes, where they're just very glamorous. They might also, Venus and Pisces women, sometimes have some kind of archetype from even old Hollywood movies like Marilyn Monroe, whoever, uh, or some like old Italian or French cinema that they are inspired by, and they will try somehow to implement that into their look as well. Something I just wanted to mention before I forgot is that I have nothing against like general beauty spell on the internet or anything. I personally don't use them. I don't have any experience with them, but I just want to say that from astrology perspective, and I think how a proper beauty or even like love magic would be done in my opinion, would be specialized for your venus so if you really want to get in touch and make once again some kind of very special like specific beauty 
this is of course not like a real beauty spell or anything but it's like it's more of a little ritual i would say but if you want to also develop beauty spells for yourself manifestation magic for yourself or any kind of even rituals for yourself make sure that you don't just take something generic from the internet but do something for yourself create something for yourself with your venus sign because this is when it will work for you the strongest for love or for beauty you have to work with energy with of venus and of course there's energy of venus like friday for example is they connected to venus but you need to make sure it works for your chart so really discover where your venus is placed and I promise you that you will see like it really works rather than like some things that will work for one person but not for another so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i just wanted to do something a little bit different and i honestly like i don't know how this thing works but it worked for me and the only way i can explain it is through venus energy so look at what's going on with your venus where it sits and you can create some kind of little beauty ritual for just yourself you can call it a beauty spell if you want you can call it a beauty ritual whatever it is but when it's done according to the energy of your venus you will see almost something magical happens because guys i cannot even explain i don't see any transit right now happening in my chart that would bring that um i had venus returns yes earlier but they're not happening like this week so i cannot think of specific like venus transit or some kind of transit that's happening right now but when I did this little ritual, I did feel so so much better and so different as well and so much more confident. I started feeling really beautiful. I know people often tell me you are so beautiful, but like I sometimes just don't feel it or don't see it. But I actually started feeling it and started radiating it more. So I really hope this video helps you because I know like especially in quarantine, since we still are kind of in this weird space, whatever it is, many women feel very disconnected from, you know, feeling their most confident. So I hope this video helps you. Let me know in the comments below where your Venus is placed and, you know, some ideas, maybe share with other ladies some ideas for a beauty spell or for a beauty, you know, for a beauty ritual. If, like, you you will you will see in the comments ladies who have same uh, same Venus placements as you, you might, guys, come up with something together even. And if you want to study astrology with me, please check out my course. Uh, we are still open for enrollments. And if you register before the end of July, it comes with 10% discount and also access to my tarot class. I hope to see you all guys there. I love you all guys so much. Follow me on Instagram if you have one. I post there a lot more often. I love you all so much. I hope you feel beautiful and amazing just the way you are. But we always can do some things, I think, to step into our power and our Venusian goddess, you know, expression even more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We'll talk really soon. Bye-bye.